Who executed one of the kings of hip hop and why shattered Run DMC fans and dog detectives for nearly two decades. It was a tricky and long road for cops and queens as the 2002 murder case of Jam Master Jay went cold until now. We've charged this case uh, with respect to Mr. Jordan uh, as a uh, drug-related uh, homicide. On October 30th, two men were buzzed into Jason Mizell's recording studio in Jamaica, Queens. One of the alleged killers hugging Jay before shooting him in the head. Prosecutors allege Mizell threatened to cut one of the accused shooters out of a cocaine trafficking deal. They'd allegedly been pushing the drug conspiracy for six years together. Carl Jordan Jr. was arrested Sunday and charged with firing two bullets. Ronald Washington, already serving a prison sentence, has been charged as the suspected accomplice. There are certain crimes uh, for which uh, the passage of time affords uh, no safe harbor. Uh, and murder uh, is one of them. For the NYPD's top detective, the arrests are personal. Me being a native of Queens uh, and being a big fan of Run DMC and Jam Master J, uh, making this arrest was very, very important to me. But none more so than for his family and surviving members of the group. In a joint statement released overnight saying it stirs mixed emotions and they pray this case gives others families hope and is a solid step in justice being served. Before Mizell's mother passed away, she told our Mary Murphy this day would come. One of these days it will be solved and someone will tap them on their shoulder and call their name and say, got you. All right, my question coming out of this one, are you surprised that someone finally spoke up? Because there were people there, I think people knew for years what had happened here. Uh, Donald Schweitzer, are you, are you shocked? I'm not shocked uh, that somebody came forward. You know, these crimes are often resolved by anonymous tips. People come forward. In this case, it was a celebrity, and there was a pretty decent um, reward that was offered. What's really sad about this case is how long it took, though. Apparently, this happened in 2002, and it's very indicative of the biggest challenge that we have in these cases, and that is witness intimidation or just the fear of people coming forward. Uh, you know, people uh, want us to do the right thing, but the pressure out there and the danger is very real to them, in spite of the fact that the police can provide protection in a lot of these cases. You know, I, I look at this case, uh, Vinny, and I just think, boy, I wish that his mother would have seen this day where they were captured. 